Good morning, good morning, good morning. The cow has awoken with a with a revelation. <laughs> I used that analogy yesterday, you know, when the cows are out in the field. They're thinking creatures. And they come to this, this creative clarity and they jump. Oh shit, I figured it out. So I figured it out. You ready for it? Breaking news, breaking news. Okay, so this is a, um, this is just a, an ongoing query into Seth Rich. I'm not letting it go, how about you? Fucking kid was murdered, I'm, kid, kid was either murdered or disappeared, we're gonna let that go? Hell no. So, I wanna, I wanna talk about the new revelations, quote, revelations, and what the headline really should be. If you read my headline, that's what the headline really should be with Thomas Paine and Mr. America Couch. Uh, what they are revealing is is actually just more police corruption, and I'll tell you why. So what what Thomas is reporting is this: he's saying that Feds and FAA records show Brazil was in D.C. Her phone was in D.C. Right? Her phone, the phone that she used to access social media was in D.C. That's that's what we know, right? That's the big revelation, right? That another politician lied about their, their, their spot, right? But does it put her in the hotel? Do those records put her in the hotel, uh, the ho hotel, the hospital, where Seth Rich allegedly was brought in with two bullet holes in the back after he was shot on the, the street of a botched robbery, right? Does that, put, does that put Donna Brazil in that hospital? I don't know, no. What have, you, what have you given us that puts, and I'm just playing the devil's advocate. Thomas Paine, love you to death. I hope you do what you're doing forever and ever. I hope you're the next guy that cracks the big Watergate mystery, whatever. My couch, same. I'm not frowning on you guys. I'm just offering you an insight. And especially you, Thomas, you NYPD, you know that the, the real answers lie in the police department that are holding back the evidence. I mean, I blew it on. You think the NYPD is corrupt in New York? The, the sanitation is, Department of Sanitation is just, I don't, I don't know. I, I have no comparison, but it's, it's insane corruption. So, so if all we have, and the other part of it is the bigger part, but if all we have is, is Donna Brazil's social media account communicating through DC, then, as I said yesterday, the, the, the anecdote for the corrupt politicians are going to say that, well, that was her assistant uh, using a phone in D.C. And, you know, they're very important people and they don't have time to actually do their own social media accounts. So they gave it to somebody and they happen to be in D.C. They'll pull something like that, right? It doesn't, it doesn't advance the ball, right? But the real issue is, is police said, and I quote Thomas Paine, in True Pundit, in the article that appears down below, DC police <clears throat> said, Intel dropped by Mike Couch, placing Brazil at the DC and the DC mayor, Donna Brazil and the DC mayor at the hospital is credible. Now think about that statement for a second. Just think about what we know about how corrupt and how dishonest the DC Metro Police have been and I'm gonna I'm gonna come to their rescue in a minute, but just think about You have evidence that puts a DC operative a, a, a Democratic National Committee operative. She wasn't the, com, the, com, the uh, chair at the time. Don, Wasserman Schultz was the chair, right? Brazil took over after the convention. So just to clarify that people are running around that Brazil was the DNC chair. She wasn't. I even made that mistake. She was, Donna Brazil took over at the convention after Wasserman Schultz was kicked out. Right? So the soon to be DNC chair was at the hospital. Now, knowing the political twist that these are Democratic operatives leading into a, a national convention one month later with two billion dollars on the line to push Hillary Clinton, stuff Bernie Sanders and beat Donald Trump. All on the line, all in play. 
And you're telling me that, that there's no consp conspiracy to murder somebody, to shut them the hell up? That there's no investigation? That's the corruption, right? Is that the evidence that there's, there's a, there's a cover-up of some sort, that the DC police refused to release any video, any ballistics, any photographs, right? Someone gets shot in the street and there's no, there's no crime scene, there's no, that two, we're supposed to believe two idiot thugs from DC shot somebody in the fucking street on a botched robbery and they can't figure it out. It's just so stupid, right? So, but, but the real corruption, and I'll, I'll try to end this soon because it's, it's, it's just an old, it's an old, kicking an old hat down the road, right? <clears throat> Is that if the DC police really, really, instead of just giving us crumbs, I know as reporters, I know historically that, that we're supposed to accept crumbs. Oh, look, they gave us a little, a little intel, right? Now, my experience as a whistleblower was that you, when, you ask, when you ask for help inside to give you information, people will give you crumbs under the condition of anonymity. Why? Because they're protecting their own ass. They don't, it's not that they're going to get killed. It's that they're, they want to keep, they look at the picture of their, little, their beautiful child and their beautiful wife and say, I'm not going to risk any of that. For what? To be a, a patriot? Right? Think about what I'm saying. It's, if you want to be a patriot and you, want to, you really, really care about this country, the protesters and the DNC police people, that if they all came forward at once, I don't know if there's any precedence for that, but that's the, there's the fight. That law enforcement, the FBI, the CIA, these these agents are so so uh, strangled, gagged that they can't speak the truth. Is it true that the DC police withheld information in a in a murder in DC that has political ramifications that could in fact lead right back to John Podesta? and Hillary Clinton, and Donna Brazile, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and Andy Awans in the, running the spy ring? Absolutely. Did the DC police confiscate the, the, the uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz's laptop and give no evidence uh, about what was on that laptop? Of course they did. So to accept the crumbs from DC police is the old fashioned way of working, Thomas. It's the old-fashioned way. What we need to do is move forward and try to convince, don't, I mean, good, you took the crumbs and you reported on the crumbs in the old-fashioned way and you can protect your sources. I've done it too. I have 10 people inside DNC, DNC, DSNY that I would never give up their names because of that condition of anonymity, right? And they know that, right? But I pleaded with them to come forward. Are you pleading with your, D, your, your, your DC police leak to come forward? Or are you just going to keep taking the crumbs for your own gain? There's no gain there. It's, it's, you're hurting the country, right? DC police. You're hurting the country by not revealing. You could set a precedence across the, across the nation, right? President backs you. You've got the backing of the President of the United States. What's your, what's your fear? Come out in mass, DC police, Metro DC police, giving us crumbs. Release the video. What, what actually happened in the crime scene? Gun, a, a machine picked up two shots? Really? Where's the fucking video? Where's the crime scene? Where's the photographs? Where's the ballistic evidence? Where is it? Who else was at the hospital? Where's the, where's the mayor's record of, of, of where she was and who she was with, right? Where's the testimony of the hospital? Where's the hospital video? There's so much evidence, so much evidence that the, D, the, the DC police have failed to give us. If you're late to the party, I, you know, what, what can I tell you? But, but just these, these hearsay things that are going on and you know and people calling it evidence it doesn't it doesn't help 
because what it does is it's just another they they control the board unless you blow them up the actual law enforcement people blow them up nothing is going to change and Seth Rich the story of Seth Rich remains a mystery and so many other stories just like it my name is Marcus Conti investigative journalist kindly hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel don't hit it if you're already here because then you'll unsubscribe Marcus Conti, peace out.